I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 778. iOS 4 came out yesterday, available to download for free after you update iTunes to 9.2. The biggest thing in 4.0, of course, is multitasking. Apps can run in the background. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole show on this since I've covered it so much already, but I do want to talk about my experience so far, especially since I promised you on Twitter that I would. <laughs> I sound like a broken record, but I love the ability to play Pandora in the background while working on other stuff. Before you get in the habit of closing apps to get them out of the dock, you'll wind up with a lot of open apps which is dangerous because it'll run down your battery quicker. So let's talk about battery life. A lot of people are saying they've seen an increase in battery life. I've had exactly the opposite experience and I know I'm not the only one. With two or three apps open, the screen brightness set at a third, I lost 10% of my battery in 20 minutes. In the first six minutes, it had dropped from 96 to 92% and just kept going. Since different people are having different experiences, I'm not going to make a blanket statement and I expect it to get better, definitely with the iPhone 4's hardware. Just be aware of the possibility for now. A company called Pixel Optics is working on new kinds of eyeglasses. They say Empower glasses are the first dynamic electronic lenses. Empower is for everyone, but will be specifically awesome for people who need bifocals or progressive lenses. It allows you to focus in as much time as it takes you to blink. There's less distortion, it gives you a wider view than progressive lenses do, and it has three modes, automatic, manual on, or manual off. The battery is rechargeable. It's funny to think about batteries and glasses in the same story, but it looks like that's our future starting later this year. A Scotland hospital is putting some robots through the final testing stages before opening the doors and letting the robots take over. Okay, not take over, take over. They're not going to be doing brain surgery, but they will be bringing you your food and medicine and will do the job that no one else wants, carrying around the clinical waste. All the staff members will have a PDA they can use to essentially whistle to the robot when they need something done. People of Scotland, I only ask one thing. Please don't mistreat these robots or we could have an uprising on our hands. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and for supporting the show by using discount code geek at angieslist.com. You'll save money and ensure you find contractors with great reputations. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye! A Scotland hospital is putting some robots through the final testing stages before opening the doors and letting the robots tight. Boy, oh boy, oh boy!